What's up guys, now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a new set of brands from Sahara Gaming and like all semi-budget kind of brands they do tend to follow the trend a little bit but at least Sahara Gaming tend to do them right. So these are the new Sahara Gaming Mirror 12 120mm fans. They do actually only come in white at the moment. They have said that maybe they will do them in black at some point. They're IARGB fans. They are modular, so they actually string together like this. These ones here actually came out of a case that they recently sent us where they kind of provide that many. But generally, if you buy them, they will come like this. They'll come separately bagged and you tend to buy them in threes we do have a little bit of an odd number here because that's what we requested and that's what they sent and you get everything else that you need to be able to hook them together now being modular fans that means you can click them together and it's going to reduce the amount of wiring that you get but if we just get them out we'll show you exactly what you get the fans themselves are 120 millimeter fans they do have a speed ratio of around 200 rpm to 2000 rpm which is actually pretty high for a case fan to be fair it does mean that you could potentially use them on on an actual cooler which is pretty cool because of course you'd probably want to match up your fans if you were building the system and if you had an AIO or if you had water cooling you want of course your fans to match so that's great that they would work there that means that they are a hybrid design so everything is pretty good on that one when it comes to the ARGB lighting we do have an infinity mirror inside the middle which does look very nice when it's on there is ARGB lighting on the inside of the circle here and then we have this kind of pattern kind of thing all the way around the edge where the ARGB lighting is actually going to shine through. On each side as well, both sides of these fans, you do get an infinity mirror ARGB strip, which again looks very nice when it's in the case. And of course, with all of that kind of stuff, they do tend to follow a bit of a trend that's going on at the moment, particularly with people kind of copying the Leon Lee kind of design, but being able to produce it for a lot lower price. Now, very often when you do get these copies, they are built extremely poorly and you tend to get lots of failures, but we haven't actually had any failure with any of these fans so far. And I have actually been playing with them on and off just to see what we could get them to do. Being modular fans, it does mean that they will click together. And that's a very simple system here. If we just take two fans, if you look at the side here, we do have some little uh, female connections here and some little male connections there. And all you have to do is simply put the fans together like this and then you simply just lock them into place now these are not always the easiest things to do because you can actually you, like i say you can't see the uh, connections themselves but they should self-locate and they'll click in just like that that means you can get two fans together and you can keep on going and adding them as you go it is worth noting that you need to be extremely careful with the pin systems on these because if you do knock these you're going to bend the pins in and then they won't locate themselves and you're going to have all sorts of trouble being able to get them there and you do not want to snap any of them pins because they're actually non-replaceable once that's done the fan is actually broken itself but we can just keep adding these fans together and they kind of just go together quite easily just like that now we have two strips there of three and like i said before these other fans actually came out of the case that they provided us and they are slightly different but we'll take a look at them in a second the other things that they actually provide with these fans should, that should get you up and running is of course the cabling system and screws now we'll go through that cable in a second and a little fan hub here it's a very basic thing it has multiple ports and a little clicky switch that will produce some rgb lighting as well as the pwm signal for the fans to make them spin the controller itself is extremely basic but you can override it by plugging it into your motherboard with a four pin pwm header and a three pin argb header and then of course when you power it by sata the fans are actually going to get their power by the sata not the motherboard itself so you should be able to string multiple fans together or even more fans than you could on a normal header but it does give you the option there if you don't have a header if you're somebody fitting these into an older system where you don't have a pre-built in kind of ARGB header system or anything this controller will actually get you up and running and it will work perfectly fine with the three fans as well you do get this other cable here which is the one that you need to be able to connect it to the uh, controller itself or your motherboard header it does come with a proprietary connection here which is going to go onto the side of the fans and connect to those pins just as if you are connecting another fan together and then on the ends of it, you do have a three pin ARGB connection, which is great. It's good that they're not using proprietary connections on the ends here with a three pin ARGB pigtail. So you can actually string multiple fans together. You don't necessarily have to put them all on the hub. You can string multiple kind of fan groups together as well, just using the cables. And then they've also provided the same when it comes to the fan power. You do have a four pin PWM connection here with a little four pin PWM connection 
pigtail so you can also string that along as well now one thing that they do miss when you actually buy these kits and you have to be aware of this when you actually start putting things together is you will need to design this out because if you are buying a kit of three and then another three and for let's say you want three in the top of your case you want two linked together in the side of the case and one in the back you will only actually have received two of these because you'd have bought the two fan kits. They did say that they were going to make these available separately. So you should be able to buy these connection cables separately at some point. So if you need to be able to do that, you need to kind of weigh it into the cost. But if you are just running two sets of three, then obviously this will be enough. And also one little hub will be enough. So you'll probably have a spare hub as well. That does need a little bit of thinking and designing, like I say, but it's not impossible. You can actually get away with it. These sets as well, when you buy the three fans together, will cost around £35-£36 if you buy it from their website, so the price isn't all too bad. If you were to go for a much higher brand of fan with these kind of features, you're looking at about £30 a fan anyway, so you can make a heavy saving here when you use these kind of things, even though you do need to do a little bit more design work when you do it. Now, moving the normal kind of fan set aside, if you take a look at these ones, these actually came within a case that they have released that kind of goes with these fans really it is a white kind of dual chamber case that we recently took a look at we'll put a link in the description below if you want to go watch that and they are slightly different the design of the rear fan this one actually came out the rear is identical to all of these so there's absolutely no difference there but the fans that they provided in the bottom of that case actually have reverse blades so this means that if you were to actually fit the fans into the bottom of a case because you want to draw air up in you don't actually see the backs of them you're actually going to see the tops of them and that's actually going to draw air in whereas these ones would potentially sit at the top of your case exhausting the air back out again now unfortunately i have checked with them to see if you can actually buy this type of fan on its own in case you are kind of doing a whole custom build and you're not using their case and unfortunately they don't actually provide them i don't know if they have plans to do it in the future they have just included it in that case so that you can get that proper airflow and coloring system but it would be a shame if they didn't provide it because these would actually make a fantastic addition to the kind of the series of these so I think that would definitely be something that they need to do going forward. Now I do love a good fan system like this, particularly as it gives me the ability to keep my wiring down and cable management is super easy on it, particularly if you only have one or two cables coming out of them. But one thing I did want to know is actually how many could we run together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start clicking all of the fans together. We'll see if we can actually run all of them at the same time. Of course, these ones in the middle here are going to be the uh, reverse bladed, so they might look a little bit weird, but We'll see if we can hook them all together. That's another fan on there. So that's four fans so far. You have to pull these little stickies off the sides when they're new. They do come with little uh, stickies over the top of the pin system just to protect them in transport. This one also has one here. The others I'd actually removed prior because we'd been testing these fans out and uh, giving them a bit of a go. Put this one into there. Another fan. So now we've got five all together stick another one on the end and then obviously these ones are all together already so we'll just basically pop them on like that this should make a total now of nine fans or at least that's what we asked for when we asked for them to be delivered and of course one two three four five six seven eight nine we do have nine fans the lighting on these does look amazing so once we turn them on i'm sure you'll be able to see that but we will need a connection now the connection here simply is this little cable here so we've obviously got all the connections we need this actually acts like it's a fan going on the end so we just simply need to kind of do the same as we did before we just need to hook it onto the side and then slide it down into those pins being careful of course that we don't bend any of those pins these are a little bit easier to uh, kind of put on because you can see what you're doing here and then we have the big long stretcher fans all put together we need to connect this up obviously to a power supply and i've got one down here we've got some kind of connection here for the pwm we'll get the fans running i'm hoping they're not going to be too loud for the camera but We'll get them running and then we have the argb which i'm just going to run from a fractal design argb little tiny controller really i'm not going to use theirs at the moment what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here hopefully this little controller can actually control all of these fans but to find out we need to obviously switch on the switch so that's all the fans that have come on now unfortunately we don't have any lighting yet i'm not 100 percent sure why Maybe my little controller is not plugged in correctly. Or maybe it can't actually uh, produce that much light from a single controller. That is one thing you've got to be aware of, particularly if you're going to build something like this, that if you are going to be connecting them to your motherboard header, 
you're gonna have to be aware of how many fans you actually string together what we'll do those we'll turn it off and we'll see if we can find our limit here uh, of course we've got some little lights coming on at the end now that is a clear sign that there is something wrong with how much power these are getting so what we'll do is we'll break it in half and at the moment we'll run just four fans together let's see if we've got enough power for the four fans there we go so and that's exactly what the problem was with four fans it actually works perfectly fine from that little controller it is producing enough power here just flick over the colors and you can see what's going on I don't remember what the exact settings are on here but i'm sure we've got rainbow somewhere that kind of looks a little bit rainbowy there we go so now we've found the rainbow color we can see that everything is lit up perfectly fine we've also got this really good looking oh catch my finger in the fan there we've got this really good looking infinity mirror sides with the uh, argb kind of lighting going down the side as well that looks really nice in a case they're actually not that loud at the moment they're at 100 percent fan speed because that's all i've connected it to there's no control or, or any kind of fan control system on my power supply or my test power supply and that's actually not too bad there's not a lot of noise coming off these four fans so i can imagine actually hooking up others setting a nice fan curve you can get these pretty quiet and of course testing this with that little controller we couldn't get all of them to work particularly the lighting the actual fan speeds themselves was perfectly fine because that's a 12 volt system the 5 volt system just couldn't cope with it all so i'm going to actually hook up their controller and see how many that can actually take now their controller does require an external sata port so maybe that will produce enough power across all of these if not then again we're going to learn what kind of limitations we've kind of got here but all we need to do is just hook the system up on the controller itself we do have two pwm connections here so we'll just hook up the fans to that one and then we've of course got the three pin argb you can hook that up on the other side now even though these fans do come with pigtails where you can hook off the next set fan system against that you do actually get two spare headers on the controller itself so you can continue to extend the range if you have any other things in your case the controller itself also does come with these little pins at the top here and what they're for is when you have an led switch on your case you can actually override this controller completely with that led switch or if you wanted to you can just override it with the motherboard with the other cables we're not going to do that we're actually just going to plug it straight into the power supply itself We'll just find a SATA connection, we'll hook that up, and then what we'll do is we will flick on the power supply and see how many lights up. So, of course, they are all actually lit up now and they're all spinning perfectly fine. The controller itself that they provide is enough to actually power up to nine fans i'm not sure how many more we can actually go with this the controller itself does have a little switch on it where you can control the colors we just kind of flick it here and you'll see that they do change eventually we'll get back round to our rainbow that we do like but you've got a reasonable range here to be honest this one i do like this is like a nice purpley bluey red i have uh, taken pictures of that kind of color before if we go around again we've got static colors static colors kind of a merged pinky bluey red kind of color and then we'll go back round eventually we will get to so there we go we've got back to the rainbow now of course this is actually working perfectly fine you can fit as many as you want according to this on there the infinity mirrors looks fantastic all the way down the side and to be honest i'm pretty impressed that we've managed to actually get this this far now i think this set of fans is actually pretty cool i think sahara gaming have done a fantastic job of it they are mimicking some other brands out there particularly some kind of trending brands at the moment and that's okay because this is going to give the opportunity for more budget related gamers to be able to get something that looks very nice in their case as i said before there's certain fans in here the ones with the reverse blades don't come on their own you can't actually buy them or at least you can't buy them at the moment they do only come in their new case so if you do want the reversible fans you're gonna to have to buy that case but the case does look amazing as well and i'm sure if you are buying fans like this you'll want something that looks pretty cool like that too let me know in the comments below what you think about these fans are they something that you would would consider for your own system or do you tend to go for the more premium branded i'm actually quite impressed with the quality of these fans because usually when i do get this many from a brand at least one doesn't work but in this case they all work perfectly fine and they're super quiet and they look amazing too don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this because i'm sure as it's coming up to the season of dropping new things there's going to be lots of brands sending stuff and i'm sure as always we'll catch you guys in the next one